Hey guys, thanks for hopping on here tonight. Um, tonight's call is going to be pretty different. I've been uh, thinking about it since, I don't know, for a few days. Uh, I want to get some feedback from you guys and um, I want to implement some new things. I'm not going to change a bunch of things. I don't mean that. I just want to implement a few things. And before I do it, you know when you make a change and you don't get feedback first <laughs> and then you go, oh, that's not what they wanted at all, right? I would rather have the feedback first and then implement the changes and know that everybody's kind of on the same page about what you guys think we need. And so um, I want you guys to be thinking about a couple things while I'm going to go through the announcements. I want you to think about, first of all, accountability groups. Um, I don't really want to create a group. I would rather do, um, I would rather create IPA chats with my working levels one through three and uh, do something like that and then share it with anyone else um, what we're doing and then you can create it with your own levels one through three. That's what I would prefer to do so that no one is overwhelmed. <laughs> no one named me. <laughs> gets overwhelmed with keeping up with it, whether everyone is doing their income producing activity. Um, but I want feedback from you, not right this second, or you can do it this second, I just won't be reading it right this second. Um, I want feedback from you guys in regards to what you would like to see in accountability. And I wanna tell you really quick something I did a few years ago. It's weird to think that it was a few years ago, but I did do a group that was for accountability um, probably in 2014 or 15 or something. And I can say with certainty that we spun some jewels out of it. Does that make sense to you guys? Like, I know that some of them made their mind up by doing the, the consistent, that's the big deal, by doing consistent work and creating momentum in their business that they can look back on it. Some of you were probably possibly in that group. Um, it was like a road to Maui group or um, I want to say the name of it eventually changed to something else, but it was where every morning we were reading. I was having you subscribe to like the John Maxwell minute. And so um, every morning you'd get a new, little one minute video with him in your, um, in your email and they're watching that every morning. And then, then they were going through a questionnaire at the end of the week, talking about, uh, whether they reached their goals that week and answering those questions. And then also talking, also doing a lot of imagining, imagining yourself successful. Uh, this is before, um, before we did weekly zoom calls, um, before we did that kind of accountability where we were checking in with each other once a week that, and I was, as I've said before, I wasn't doing, um, teleconferences or anything like that. So it was kind of a different phase in Plexus. It was kind of a different phase in the way social media works. All of that was a little bit different then, but I do know that when you really get down to, as my grandpa would say, the nut cutting, when you get down to the nut cutting, what this business really comes down to is everyday consistent activity or a certain amount of activity every week. Not everybody can get do it specifically every day, but it's consistency in the activity. Um, I know even for myself, when I consistently started doing online events when I consistently started um, offering you guys a way to present the business where you did not have to feel like you knew every answer. I felt like that was kind of something that was stumping people. They felt like they wouldn't go ahead and take the next step in the business because they didn't feel like they knew all the answers to all the questions. And I felt feel like when I began to be very consistent offering online events where people could ask ask and answer questions. That was a huge deal um, for consistency in people staying uh, active with the business, people staying qualified with the business, people consistently having a reason to reach out 
and invite people. So I'm running all of that up your flagpole. And I want you to kind of be thinking about that in the back of your mind. I'm going to go down through a few announcements. If you have any input about maybe something we used to do that you know actually caused momentum in your business. Um, what I am looking for here is the biggest bang for your buck as the biggest bang for your time. I'm looking for stuff that has a huge return on the investment of time that, that you or I put in because honestly, <laughs> If I'm being honest, I'm at a stage in this business to where I want there to be consistency and I want there to be momentum and the season that we're in, which I'm about to get in through the announcements, the season that we're in with this business is super exciting to me. Um, the new product that was launched, I think there's going to be a lot more to it than meets the eye. And I only believe that now from getting my own feedback and getting feedback from other people that I'm pretty excited about, excited about. So, okay, everything I just said, put that in a little box, keep it in the back of your mind. If you immediately have feedback for me, go ahead and put it in the chat. If you're thinking of something, I'm going to go ahead and go through some announcements. Um, I put out on my team page some webinars that are going on. Like, are there multiple ones a day, did you say? Uh, tomorrow is the last day of them, I think. Tomorrow maybe the last day of those. For, well, for, maybe some next week. Uh, for this for, week. Tomorrow. Okay, for this week. Now, I put those links out there knowing that on Tuesday I was headed to a concert. Cert. On Wednesday I was headed home from a concert. Uh, we were out of town. And knowing that I would not be able to participate in those, but I wanted you guys to be able to grab on. Um, Aaron messaged me earlier and said that the one from today or tonight, tonight, that just, ha just happened a little bit ago was phenomenal. She said, oh my gosh, this one's phenomenal. And so when you get that kind of feedback from a jewel, you know that that's something you're going to either want to um, <laughs> tune into or tune back into or whatever. Okay. You see what I'm saying? If, if, they, if they're recording these, I would uh, I feel a little bit out of the loop because usually these are things that I would be watching myself before I would be talking to you about it. So the link, all the links for those where you can register to watch those. Are they sending emails to you? Do you know how, if that's how it's working or a text message? <clears throat> they need, Sorry you know, that I don't know the answer. Yeah. You, everybody should have gotten an email. Text message. And okay. you had to reply back train me all together, not separate. All together. Okay. And then you should start getting text message that says, "Hey, here's a link to what's fixing to go on," or you sign, click the link to sign okay. up. Okay. So Jenny's over there saying, um, "This is part of the Train Me program." I didn't even realize that. Mm -hmm. So okay, I do have this written down. You can uh, actually text Train Me. Is it, raise your hand or let me know in the chat if you don't know what I'm talking about about the Train Me thing. Um, that is where you can text train me to a certain uh, okay seven five three i thought i had it written down seven five three nine eight seven and and the and corporate will start sending you um well apparently so that you can register for webinars and other type things i I was so hungry when I started this business, hungry to know how to work this business and hungry to figure out what other people were doing and how they were working it. That this is, that is something that would have been like, you couldn't have put a dollar sign on it. You could not have put a dollar sign on what they're doing, the value for that, for my business at the time. Now it seems like, it seems like we went through a season where each team was making up their own training. <laughs> we were, uh, it didn't just seem like that. We were all making up our own training methods and routines and everything. And now uh, corporate is doing it all as a package. And I love the fact that they were doing that. I loved, uh, even though I was not, I did not get to attend convention for the first time ever. I loved the fact that what I saw was very authentic I saw so many people sharing stories that everyone could relate with. Um, I love the direction that our company is headed. They're, 
to me, in my opinion, there's not a better time that a person could be involved in Plexus than right now. I'm really excited about it. So, um, okay, I wrote down number three. I'm going to be creating accountability, something that um, there are some in, in your back office. There is a way to actually um, print off. I want to show you what Erin brought these to me. I, I believe she brought these back from convention. Live it, love it, track it. Now she brought this to me and it's like a, a pad, but I was, she was like, I brought these to you and I'm like, ah, that's awesome. And I was thinking, man, I wish everybody could have these. And she's like, you know, you can, <laughs> it's in the back office and you can print these off. And this is one, track it. Okay. Healthy business workbook. This is another one. Uh, is this something else that I think that I, I'm gonna make sure I understood her right that can be printed off um, as a PDF it's got all kinds of great where you can basically keep up with your leads now, hang on I gotta manage got somebody unmuted so Erin had mentioned when she was here that it might be cool and if i'm misquoting you i think this you told me this either you told me this or i had this thought um that if you would print some of this off for a level one and, and stick it in the mail to them it might be a really nice kind of like i mean especially with a handwritten note it might be a really nice thing that you could do to help somebody get started give them some direction right off of the bat am i misquoting you Erin, or is that right I can't remember. I don't think so. Oh, she froze. Maybe she's froze. Okay. So anyway, um, these are, are they in the resources? Help somebody help me with that too. I want to make sure I'm guiding people in the right directions tonight. Okay. I'm going to check the chat to see if anybody's saying anything or have questions. Uh, uh, uh. Customers. Oh, she said, nope. As in, she didn't say that. I don't know what she said. That was it. <laughs> Wait, I'm going to, here, I'm going to, can I unmute you? Okay. She's walking. It looks like just a minute. Center. Just a minute. Okay. Yeah. I'm going to send it to my level ones. Sorry, I'm walking. And also to my customers um, that are having a hard time knowing like what they should be tracking, what progress to look for. It just honestly helps them stay more honest to what it is that they're doing and to look at things in a broader scope and not just the scale, meaning the track it. Yes, that pad, which that is in our back office. And um, so you didn't even have to get it at convention. You could print it off, go to your library, go to your bank, whatever, print it off and send it out. And like she said, um, send in those handwritten notes. They mean the world to people. Even if you get a 29 cent postcard and send that, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Yeah, absolutely. And that workbook, um, that is something that for people that are like, I need something visual in front of me. I want to write stuff down as far as like a business builder or me, somebody that's been in this business a long time and needs like still, still need somebody to kind of put their thumb on them and be like, girl, did you do this today? Did you do this today? So that's why I was like, oh yeah, that, that helps me stay like focused and on track. Um, in that um, healthy workbook um, for the business building aspect. Okay, I really love this. Um, I love that the company is streamlining everything to where not just our products work in synergistically, but actually our um, departments, <laughs> departments at, at corporate working hand in hand with each other like you know, incentives and promotions and marketing materials, training center, everything is pointing back to send, share, and invite. To me, that is beautiful because then there are not all of these where it looks like you've got, you know, different companies creating each department. We've got, we have harmony in our departments now. <laughs> it's funny because what happened to Plexus in the beginning was, what you would call grassroots organic accidental growth that was so exponential that people that are in my life who saw the growth were calling it 
That's the cra like the craziest thing I've ever seen. No business continues to build upon itself percentage wise, that kind of percentage every month and then create another per that percentage on top of last month's growth and then another. And what was happening is the actual products and uh, the effectiveness of the products were causing growth um, before we had our legs underneath us as far as training and resources. And now, like, I love Jen Viev. I think she's like the best thing ever. I love to listen to her talk. I love the training program now. I love the Jewel Trainer. Everything just lines up. It's beautiful. So I'm excited about that. Um, I am going to have an event for July. Um, I am kind of waiting to see how they turn loose of active on July 1st. If it comes out with an incentive, if it comes out with whatever they do at July 1st is going to determine what type of event I do in July, because I'm going to tell you right now, active, for those of you who've been around for a while, I'm going to remind you about a dream I had. Um, I told it on a zoom call. Uh, I, um, I've only been using it for a few days. Okay. And I'm just going to be honest with you. When they announced that it was going to be an energy drink, I was like, yay for people who work out, you know, like I'm, I'm excited for other people. I'm excited for some of you. Uh, I'm excited for people who want, who are active. <laughs> I'm excited for people who are active. Okay. I was like, good, it'll probably be good for business. I would really like something that's gonna like be something amazing for me. That was my first thought. But <laughs> I have been using it for a few days and my sweet, sweet friend that I run around praying with, she walked in two days ago and she goes, have you lost weight? And I was like, <laughs> Uh, yeah, I knew I had because clothes I had bought to wear to convention were already gappy in the waist. Okay. And I was like, that's what I've changed. That's what I've changed. So now I have not said this on my wall because it's not a claim that we're making about this product. Right. All I said was hands up if you like it. And I got so much feedback. The feedback that I got was, oh my gosh, I love it. I love the flavor. Girl, I love this stuff. And then Leslie Reichert starts in, oh my gosh, I can barely eat. The appetite control is so amazing. And I was like, there it is. It's not just me. It's not in my head. There it is. And then other people start chiming in. And I've been talking to her tonight. And she's like, oh yeah, Lord. Lori, everybody, everybody who's trying it. And she's like, not everybody's trying it yet because it was only sold in the combos and it kept getting sold out at convention. But the ones who are trying it. Ah! Okay. <laughs> are you looking at the comments? Uh, oh, mm, I said, okay, now I'm going to take y'all back. We're going to rewind back to a dream I had. All right. But I only want to re rewind back to this dream. Y'all know I have fun prophetic dreams sometimes sometimes I did have really weird dreams last night I was smoking weed in my dream and I, <laughs> I was smoking weed with people who are not even living anymore so I don't know what that was about <laughs> but okay it might come out to be weirdly prophetic in some way but mm -hmm. I'm just saying so you never know why but a few <laughs> months ago when it was cold outside I some of you will remember let me back up and say this. I want to tell you when I thought of this dream. Not, I didn't think of this dream when I was like, why are my pants gapping? This is awesome. The other thing I noticed was, this is TMI, but I'm just going to tell you, my pee smells funny. Okay. That's weird. And I'm drinking lots of water. So even anything that's flushing out should be weird. But I'm like, okay, that's something, something coming out of me, inflammation, by the way, it's inflammation, something toxic that's causing inflammation. It is addressing something that my body has been needing. It's, it's a missing piece for me. 
I don't put my, I don't put myself out there much, you guys, not about weight loss. I don't put myself out there and be like, oh, I think this is, oh, look, check. Mm -mm. I haven't, not in a long time. But, okay, my friend asks me the other day, I think you've lost weight. And so I'm like, I think I have too. Like, I notice it in my clothes, you know. Well, then, uh, yesterday, we're, we're driving to the concert, and my daughter, she always plugs in the auxiliary thing, and we always listen to the concert on the way to the concert. You know what I'm saying? Like, we're going to listen to that band all the way there. We're going to know all the words by the time we get there. Well, as we do this, the song, and you'll remember it if you've listened to that Zoom, from my dream comes on and I'm like, I start reliving that dream. Oh yeah, oh yeah, I had that dream. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Okay, here's what the dream was. I was floating in my sleep, kind of like in a galaxy, you know, like in the universe. I don't know how to say it, except for I was just floating. And like lifeless, and I would have said it was on an operating table, but there wasn't really anything underneath me. And these hands, were like operating on me and they were pulling stuff out of me, putting it in glass, kind of like Tupperware containers and hurling it out into the universe. And during the entire thing, a song was playing. In fact, I wasn't planning on doing this, but I want to play the few seconds of this song for you. Just a minute. Yeah. I have to think of the actual name of it because I want to call it of what I think it should be called. Um, yeah. Okay. Ah, hang on. All right, all right. Really weird. If you don't remember the dream yet, and if you did listen to that Zoom, you'll remember this part. Okay, I have to also say, oh, phooey, what did I just do? Okay. I gotta read some of the chat, hang on. I, okay, I'm answering somebody's question. I didn't see them. People were asking them, they said, what do the people look like? That's basically what she asked me. They were operating on me. I didn't see them, uh, but <laughs> the dream had a weird alien feel, if that's what you're asking me. I mean, it, I mean, it was like I was being operated on by something. And I remember this was at a time when I was praying. You guys will remember, I was praying for supernatural weight loss. <laughs> like, you know, like melt overnight. <laughs> Wouldn't that be nice? Praying and praying and praying and praying and also eating a very little amount all the time. And for whatever reason, there was some sort of hitch in my giddy up. Okay. Now, here is the weird part of this song. Now, by the way, I was dreaming it for like eight hours. Like I would go to sleep and then I would wake up and I would be like, oh, it's the weirdest dream. Quit dreaming that. Think about something else. Go to sleep dream it again, wake myself up. And I mean, I'm dreaming that I'm being operated on. Okay, so hold the phone. Here we go. I gotta find the button, there it is. Okay, maybe. Uh, I'm gonna fast forward it to the... It's this part right here. Sorry. They know that it's almost. They know that it's almost over. They know that it's almost
Probably got the weird feel, the weird vibe out of it. Hang on. Okay, so it's got this weird vibe while I'm being operated on, and the song, the words of the song are saying they know that it's almost. They know that it's almost over. They know that it's almost. They know that it's almost. Over. The next day, all day long, I'm like I was being operated on, and it was saying that it's almost over. At the same time that I'm always praying about supernatural weight loss. And yesterday, that's the song that my daughter starts playing when we're headed to this concert where that band was going to play. And I'm just going to say that I think, I think my dream was prophetic. <laughs> Whatever whatever's been going on with me about why I couldn't lose weight for whatever reason, active, whatever active has in it, which is for inflammation. I know it has, I know it has turmeric, um, synergistically for me though, because I've taken other products with turmeric, including ease. Um, also one other thing that has been a consistent notation in the comments is uh, libido, libido. Oh. <laughs> Jenny said, ow. <laughs> also, you need to go read the comments that are about libido because some of the people who were saying libido were talking specifically uh, about the male counterpart. And they were saying that they, I mean, it's, it's on, it's public on my wall. So I'm not like talking out of school here. Nitric they, oxide. It's what? Nitric oxide. Is it nitric oxide? I think so. I'll go play. I'll go find. Jenny's going to go find out. That's, that's the part that helps. It's, um, nope. okay. Yeah. Blood for blood vessels. Apparently it helps the blood flow. And there, people were saying that that they had not been able to entertain themselves in such a way in a while. And then they were easily entertained since they started taking active. So I'm just saying all of that because nitric oxide, nitric oxide. I thought, I thought you were probably saying, telling us something that goes in a car. What's that called? What's that called? No. <laughs> what is it called? Uh, nitrous oxide. Nitrous. Nitrous. <laughs> nitrous <laughs> oxide. It's not, it's not nitrous oxide. <laughs> which makes the car go really fast. Kind of the same thing. <laughs> kind of the same thing. Kind of the same thing, Jason. Mm -hmm. Oh, goodness. Okay. So, a couple of things. I want everyone who consistently puts themselves in front of my face on a weekly basis, I want you to start making a fund for yourself rat hole funds to go to convention next year it's in nashville they've never announced it at convention and never opened it up for convention about where convention is going to be the, we usually don't know until january so you have a year you have a year to rat hole 20 dollar bills that you might have spent on something frivolous i want you to think about every frivolous purchase that you make and start a convention fund now. I'm gonna leave that at that. But that I'm probably gonna say that every week because that's so super important. Um, also, also, starting July 1, I want to start a Get Active campaign. This also was Aaron influencing me, and I think it's a great idea. In fact, um, I'm talking about within our team. I'm not talking about we have to, I mean, I, I want you to put it out on your wall and talk about it, but I'm not talking about we're going to make a group and we're going to make people, other people get active. Nothing wrong with that, but I'm talking about you. 
And if that means for you, look, I took pictures today because I, I just want to tell you, I was pretty excited because have you ever like, even felt just a little skinnier than you did four days before. And so you kind of just like feel a little bit better, you know? And so Malia and I, by the way, Malia and I never go anywhere by ourselves. We always have pit bull guard dogs with us everywhere we go. My hairy monkey man is usually both of our bodyguards. And then we have, but for whatever reason, we went somewhere to this concert last night and Malia was commenting last night and on the way home today, she goes, mom, I think we're hot. And I was like, why do you think we're hot? And she goes, did you notice? She's like, when you were asking what would be open to go eat last night at the concert, that guy's like, you need somebody to take you. And I was like, yes, I did notice that. And, uh, I'm not saying I'm, you know, it's because I got skinny in four days. I'm saying I did enjoy feeling better about myself. And today, I want to show you. Can't let you go anywhere anymore. Yeah, Jay says he's not going to let us go anywhere anymore by ourselves. No, it's funny because we're never anywhere by ourselves. So today, Malia and I were running around shopping. We went to um, down, kind of down in Bricktown, in Oklahoma City, and went to little shops and did some things that, Literally, I do believe that just whatever water weight, inflammation weight that I've gotten off in the last few days made me excited to literally just get out of my car, go running around, go do some fun stuff. And I took some pictures of us doing that. And I did that because that's going to be part of the get active challenge. Whatever is get active to you, like us running, literally all the running we did around, running around we did at that concert last night. We had the, our um, shuttle from our, um, from the hotel is what I'm trying to say. I started to say the embassy, the shuttle from the embassy to get over to the uh, convention center thing where we watched the concert dropped us off like forever away. And we had to like, you know, hike over that to me is get active and I really would love to, how many of you have the watches that tell you or the, the devices on some sort that tell you how many steps you're getting in, in a day and do you use them? Do you like them? Oh, oh, look at that. Okay. Leaving for spontaneous business with the people. Okay. That's what I'm saying. Also, there's something in the active. I, I don't know. I don't know if you can see it, but literally when I looked in the mirror the last two or three days, I don't know why it is. I look happier. <laughs> I feel happier. I feel younger. There's something in the active that has, it, it works well with me. It may not be for everybody. I fully get that. But I'm going to tell you right now, I told a girl today, uh, I told a girl today in a chat, she's like, I saw your post yesterday, et cetera. And I'm like, uh, yeah. And she said, um, tell me what all, all I need to order. And I told her, I, based on her health stuff, I said, you really want to be on the triplex. And as soon as they make it available where you can get the active a la carte, uh, you need to order it. And here's how I presented it to her. And I'm not telling you this is how you need to do it, but you need to order it and you need to like, invest in it in a way that you would invest in something like Starbucks or an energy drink or something every single day and see if you don't like this way better. I said, because I had a like, you know, coffee, not all the time, but like fancy coffee every now and then habit. Or I had a, you know, I didn't, I never did energy drinks. I never did like the ingredients in them. The fancy coffee is not much better, but I said, you need to invest in yourself in for one bag's worth because this is what I believe in it that much. One bag's worth is 14 servings. Is that right? Yes. 14 servings to see if in two weeks, if it does for you what it's done for me in like four days, you know what I'm saying? Like I could tell the first day I was like, Oh my gosh, this is awesome. This feels pretty good. And it didn't make me, it didn't do anything. It didn't have any negative side effects that I could see. Has anybody had, has anybody had a negative side effect? It made me want to get, uh, I'm going to tell you something else too. 
I have a, this is just, this is just closet, Lori. I'm coming out of the closet telling y'all everything right now. Uh, I have a room in my house that hasn't been cleaned since my clean, clean, like clean, clean <laughs> since my daughter liked fairies. Okay. Like it had become a, oh, oh huh? Oh, yesterday. No, <laughs> it had become a room <laughs> where everything we didn't want to deal with got stuffed back in that room, you know? And <laughs> it's like, okay, just whatever it was two days ago, three days ago, whatever it was, I'm like, okay, I am, I am in such a good mood. It wasn't, oh my gosh, I have so much energy and I don't know what to do with it. Although there was the energy to do it, but I was in such a good mood that I didn't care for digging into something that I have literally dug my heels in about for years. Like, I, I don't want to go through those boxes. Like, it's almost like unearthing dead stuff. Do you understand what I'm saying? Like boxes of things that you didn't want to deal with 10 years ago. Why the heck would I want to deal? And I was, boy, I was making decisions like lightning so easy to make decisions. It was like sharp. I'm telling you, I, if I wasn't on Plexus and I heard me talking about this particular product, I would want to try this product. It's really, okay. I got to read just a few comments. You guys oblige me just a moment. Cause I don't want to. <laughs> yes. Oh, wow. Okay. I was going to say where you Chrissy, where you're saying you've been leaving for spontaneous visits. I think it's, it's like, I don't know. It's almost like it's bringing out just a more, um, interactive, it's active, interactive. I was, I'm feeling the same way. Wanting to get out, wanting to do stuff. Okay. The whole big thing. <laughs> wow. Brandy, I will private message you about that because I got a lot to say about that. Okay, I think that's important. I'm gonna say what Chrissy said here. She said, so bluntness here, being an ex-drug user, user, I'm slower, slower to notice differences uh, due to it being natural and subtle. But hearing others speak out their testimony, I'm like, yeah, me too. Oh snap, that happened to me. I think that's very gonna be very important with this product because this is gonna be one of those that if you use it for six months and you quit using it, you're gonna be like, oh my gosh, why did I used to feel so good? If that makes sense. like. I was feeling so great when I was using that. Focus, yes, much more focus. Yes, I'm, I'm, I'm love, loving it. And I believe that my prophetic dream that <laughs> said it's almost over, that hump that I was in, I believe that that's what it was telling me, hang around hang in. You, you're, you're almost there, girl. You're almost there. I feel amazing. Okay. I do want to ask a question. What resonated with each of you the most that, go, that got to go to convention? What resonated with you, with you the most about convention? Tell me in the comments. Okay, nice, okay. If you weren't at convention and you've watched some of the trainings or things things from videos or whatever from convention, tell, you can comment about that, what you liked the best. Okay.
Oh, wow. Same here. Loved Bob Heilig. Oh, my gosh. Okay. Okay. I want to say I'm going to breeze back down through my talking points tonight, and I want each one of you to give me a golden nugget from tonight, like what you heard tonight that made the most impression on you. Um, I, we talked about registering for the webinars, the train me, texting train me, 753987. I talked about creating accountability chats, which we are getting to. This will be soon. Okay. Um, the, the PDFs from the back office. Oh, I just had a deja vu. Wow. Um, and mailing those out possibly to your level one workers or level ones. Um, oh, I didn't say this. The diamonds got <laughs> hemp oil at the diamond meeting to test and the, the raving reviews are coming in and I'm like, oh, crap, crap. So um, I'm excited about that. The incentive that's going on right now, don't forget about that incentive to get to be one of the testers for the hemp oil. Hope I'm calling it the right thing. Hold on, I'm meeting everybody. Um, we're gonna do an event for July. The Get Active Challenge, which is gonna start July 1st. Here's the thing, on July 1st, I'm gonna start, um, it's going to be a get active campaign. We're going to do it within our team page, but it's just going to be reminders that I want you to be getting active, getting in your steps, and I want you to be talking about it. I want you to talk about it on your wall, what you're doing to stay active. You won't have any trouble once you get active, once you get the stuff. You won't have any trouble having the, uh, the mo um the motivation, if that makes sense. You won't have any trouble having the motivation to want to get up and do stuff. Let's see. Accountability chats. Okay. All right. And we talked about um, starting a rat hole fund for convention. So I want you really mostly for your golden nugget for tonight. They say that you're, there's a part of your brain that if you haven't used something within 72 hours, if you haven't put it to use, then your I think it's your hippocampus or your Abdullah oblongata. I don't know which one it is. One of those parts of your brain is a shredder and it will shred within 72 hours that which you don't put to use. So I want you to tell me and tell yourself what your favorite part learning to, about tonight was. And I want you to put it to use, whatever it was, Tonight, before you go to bed, or tomorrow, I want you to put a, uh, an alarm in your phone reminding you to do whatever it was that hit the most with you tonight. Okay. Good job, Lola. Awesome. Congratulations on that. I'm working on it myself. <laughs> I'm excited. Yeah, which part? Marion, which part are you wanting me to share? I forgot what all I said. Okay. Ooh, okay. Last and not least, um, these Wednesday night calls are probably about to take a sharp turn into uh, accountability and activity because, well, I just, that's how much I like the active and that's how, how much I am ready to see, um, we, we do a lot of mindset training on these uh, calls, and I'm not saying that I'm going to leave that behind by any stretch of the imagination, but I'm ready to see, I'm ready to see the fruit of all the mindset training that we have done. In fact, 
as I'm saying that, it just made me think I saw someone go live just a little bit ago and I saved it. And I actually think I was going to actually play that for you tonight. It's short. Yeah. So hold on just a minute. I've got to pull it from notes and send it to my computer really quick. Aaron, I'm sending it to you to you because you're the first chat to pull up. Okay, here we go. Uh, this is a prophetic thing that I saw today. Um, one second. It's short, but I think it's worth listening to because the direction uh, that I'm ready to take with our Wednesday night calls is kind of best summed up, I believe. Eee, hang on, here we go, with this video. Maybe it is. Okay, I'll come back and share it. I just had to find it first. I used to say, God, what am I here for? I don't seem to fit into all these boxes. I know there's greatness on the inside of me, but I don't know what it is, how to discover it, or what to do with it. I feel stuck, waiting for destiny to find me, but so far I'm just sitting on the sidelines watching the world pass me by. Father, I need you to show me. Do you feel the same way? Do you long to discover the God DNA written into the fibers of who you are? Is the greatness of Christ within you aching to burst out of you? God is speaking right now to the seeds that are on the inside of you. And he's saying, come forth, come out of obscurity, come out of those places where you feel dry, where you feel directionless, visionless, living without purpose. And he is saying, son, daughter, come. Son, daughter, it is time for you to awaken to the fullness of your purpose here on this earth. You are not designed for mediocrity. The harvest is here and now, and all of earth is crying out for the sons and daughters to awaken. It is time to recognize that Christ, the expectation of glory, is living within you. He is the answer, and he is waiting to be seen through you, for the lost are waiting to be found. You are alive for such a time as this. So we have spent countless hours planting seeds of mindset, personal growth. Overcoming negativity, all of this, and it's time. It's time to harvest it, not just in our business, but let's be honest. Um, it's, it's difficult to have passion and fruition in other areas of your life if your finances are at the top of your priority struggle. I wish I could repeat that. I don't know what I just said. It's recorded. It's recorded. <laughs> <laughs> it's difficult to have passion in the areas of your life that you really feel are important. If your finance, financial struggle is at the top 
of your priority list. And so I claim tonight for us, I claim the harvest for the seeds we've planted, the seeds we've planted over mindset, the seeds we have planted into overcoming obstacles. And now it's time for accountability for putting forth the action that we know brings fruit. Because I'm gonna tell you right now, if you stay stuck here all the time, you stay stuck in every area. If it's all stuck here, if it's all about your mind, if it's like, oh, I'm in a constant battle. I'm gonna tell you right now, I love this act. <laughs> it has given me more clarity and more focus. It has given me more clarity and more focus than anything we've ever had. Anything. I love it. I love it. Yes. God, we thank you for the change in the season. We thank you for the change in the atmosphere. We thank you that you are speaking to the seeds inside of each of us and that you are awakening us to our purpose. I'm going to say that you have awakened us, Father God, to our purpose. I sit here in gratitude tonight, knowing that this team is destined for more. Did you love hearing the convention speakers? Uh, did you love hearing the jewel speakers, the the, the emerald, sapphire, and diamond speakers get up there and tell their stories about, almost every story is about overcoming obstacles, you guys, every story. It's, it's, in, it's, it, we're in the harvest season. We're in the harvest season in the supernatural, in the spiritual. You're going to see harvest really come to light. I've been getting a vision on, uh, now I've had it three times now, a vision of what looks like it's wheat. And I, I always tease my friend Amber and say, it looks like Amber waves of grain. And there are these little flowers, orange and yellow flowers on top of the wheat. And when it's flowing back and forth, it looks like it's on fire. And Crystal Moss shared with me this week, she's had a very similar vision. I, she shared hers with me first, but I know you, some of you on here have heard me tell that before. I also have seen a pitcher, clear glass pitcher of like what looks like honey and oil. It's oil that looks like honey pouring out over this field, like the anointing that's on the harvest. And it's like, have you ever thought about an acorn and that inside one single acorn is acres and acres and acres of oak trees inside one acorn? Because one acorn goes, grows one tree and then all of these acorns that fall off, off of it have the ability. That's the kind of harvest for every seed we planted, that's the belief that, that I have for the harvest that this team has inside of us. So it's time to put out the feelers and do the stuff. It's time to, to break out of the cocoon and do the wings. I know you guys hear me talk metaphorically all the time, but I'm just telling you right now, this is the time. This is the time. It's time to get active. Time to get active. Get some and then get out there. And like Christy was saying, is this why I'm wanting to get out? Yes. Get out. It's time. The season is here. So excited about this season. I'm so excited for those of you who I know are getting that glimmer tonight. Like that glimmer, not just of hope, but that glimmer of I've been waiting for this. I've been waiting for this. I'm ready for this. And may the Holy Spirit fire fall on not just the words that I say tonight, but the intention of my heart tonight. May, may it osmose into you, if that's a word. May you truly catch the vision tonight. Each one of you individually where you are, catch the vision for what can be yours, for what can truly be yours. Um, let's see. 
hang on today. This is my mom's birthday. So it's the 26th. I'm going to look at my calendar. So the first will be Monday. By Monday, it's my hope and prayer that I have my act together enough that by the time they announce what they're going to do with active, if they're just going to release it or if they're going to release it with an incentive or whatever, <clears throat> that I can easily put together an event, get a calendar out to you guys, and we can have the month of July lined out and ready to go so that these seeds can manifest in July. I want to see manifestation. <clears throat> yes, okay. I want to see manifestation in July of the seeds that we've planted. It's time. It's time, it's time, it's time. And I'm excited about it. So, Father God, right now, in the name of Jesus, I just lift up every heart and every set of ears that's uh, listening tonight, Lord, that you would wash clean anything that's been on, on our hearts and in our minds that doesn't line up with your purpose, Father God. Wash it clean right now. God, we cast out confusion and we come into alignment with your plan for our lives. Your kingdom come right now on earth, the same as it is in heaven. And I want you to stake a claim and draw a line tonight. I'm just asking you to, because I see it. I see, I see, ask them to draw a line. If you are ready, some of you may not be, and it's okay, but if you are ready, I'm asking you to draw a line in the sand and say, I'm ready. I'm ready to, as they say, I'm going to burn the ship and I'm going to take the island because I'm not, I'm, I'm going to, I'm going to put all that I have into this. Those of you who were around when we did those accountability groups back in the day, you know you know what can come from those, the daily activity, the momentum, the income producing activity that will flow as we focus, as we basically take the arrow that's been pointed and we focus where we know that there will be fruition, not disappointment. If you've been disappointed, if you've been with this business for a long time and you've been disappointed, you need to go watch Jennifer Leith's video. She posted, she did a live on her wall, but also there is a, a link. I think it's the same, basically, same topic. If that's where you sit tonight and you're like, oh, If you've been a self-sabotager, you need to watch her video. You need to put it on repeat until it really sinks in. God, I thank you for trainers like Jennifer Leith. I thank you for Jennifer Leith. I lift her up tonight to you, Lord, that you would extraordinarily bless her for her willingness to share her heart. For all of those who spoke at convention and were willing to lay it all down and just tell the truth, and be vulnerable and authentic. Thank you for people like that. Thank you specifically for those people. God, thank you that you are raising up brand new leadership that's going to shock me within this team, within this umbrella. Those of you who get on these calls who are going to start to shine. And I'm talking about we all shine, right? But I'm talking about you're going to break out of a new shell and you're going to be like, mm, yeah, this is me called to higher purpose. The ability to not be bossed around by my finances. Have passion for something. It doesn't have to be plexus, by the way. 
Plexus can fund the passion that you have. I lift all of this up in the name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you guys for jumping on here tonight. Um, I cannot wait until July 1st when they actually release active and everybody can get their hands on it and I can get us a, an actual event lined up so that we know what we're going to do. I kind of think we're going to do event based on active, but I don't know how that's going to play out yet. So, um, making sure I'm not missing anything I need to respond to. Hey, Lori. Yes. Husband just came home and was trying to interrupt your prayer time because he's so freaking excited. <laughs> Check this out. He just came back from working out. He's like, oh my God, darling. I love this active. And he was telling me, he tells me all the time his PBs, his personal best. And then he was like, I didn't even break a sweat. And I hit all my PBs today. And I hit some. Yeah, he's like, he's tripping, y'all. <laughs> I'm like, oh. I'm in a business meeting. <laughs> Girl, I thought she was going to say he was interrupting you with libido. So, hey, I'm just saying. <laughs> I got to tell him about my struggles. <laughs> I haven't spoke to him yet about those. <laughs> Nothing. This isn't the time or place. <laughs> but it's funny y'all said that, though, because when I went and visited a friend yesterday, I confided in her about some personal details about what was happening to me on the airplane. And I was like, yes! I was like, this is not the time or place. What is going on? This is not normal. I thought I was like 14 again, but now y'all saying that, I'm like, oh, heck no. This is inappropriate. <laughs> <laughs> if you only knew, but I'm gonna stop right there. <laughs> Hashtagging you, Mile High Club. I'm just gonna. Oh. Mile High. Club. In my brain. In my brain. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Thank you for that testimony, though. That's pretty awesome. Uh, active is gonna be. Um, I think it's gonna be our. It's gonna be one of our very, very best sellers of all times. Uh, everyone, like I told you last week. Not everyone in the world, but the majority of your friends already spend the money on something on a daily basis that they will gladly try. Just, just try it, as she says in Spanglish. In the movie Spanglish, you know what movie she says? Just try it on. Just try it on. That's how I'm going to present it to people is, oh, Graciela is really laughing at my accent. Just try it on. Just try it on. She gets her daughter to tell her. She's Rapido, Rapido. Just try it on. <laughs> We're such a white girl, you know. I mean, I'm doing the best I can, girl. <laughs> okay. Thank you guys for hopping on here tonight. I have one more comment. Hold your horses. I have to read. It's private, but I want to make sure I'm addressing it if I need to. Oh, wow. Woo. Hey, Linda, can you copy that and send it into me in a message? Because I feel like that may come back up again. Like, it's, that's good. I just pray that God is breaking things off of you, strongholds, all of you, all of you. Strongholds, things that have been part of your, that you can now go, oh yeah, that was part of my past. And now it's part of my story. It's part of my testimony. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. Okay. Thanks guys for hopping on here tonight. It's been a wonderful call. I'm glad you guys enjoyed convention and um, I'm, I'm really excited to see what the rest of the month holds for those of you who are shooting to be testers for the hemp oil. And for those who don't, that are going to be really sad when you start seeing the FOMO things roll in and you're like, shoot, I'm just thinking about how many of us um, could potentially get three new people who could join the company with new codes next month, right? If they join this month, they get the new, they get 
enrollment codes for next month. Is that right? Do I have that right? Yeah. All right. Retaining information here. Okay. Good night, guys. Thanks for joining us.